The purpose of this video is to show you how to use Movie Maker. Movie Maker is a free application that comes with Windows. So go ahead on your PC, launch Movie Maker. You use Movie Maker after you have created your video and I recommend Hypercam, it does a nice job. So to add videos, you could click right here in this space on the right or go up to your ribbon and click add videos. Now I'm going to keep my instruction pretty simple. This is just the basics. I'm going to add a video clip. Notice how it appears on the right hand side. What we're going to do now is add a title to my video clip. I can go to the home ribbon. In the home ribbon, notice by the way that I have an ad group. In my ad group, I have a title. So if you click on title, it's automatically going to give you this black background you can type in the name of your title. So this particular movie is going to demonstrate on how to create a newsletter. I'm going to use this for my word processing class. You can simply adjust your box, you can change your font, the fonts are up here. You can also determine a particular size. If the size is not listed, you can key in your own size. This is all what you're used to from your word processing. In addition, let me just adjust this, you could change your background color, you could change your duration of this animation, but notice that they have these effects for the title screen. So if I play this movie, notice how it's going to fade in my text and make it grow. That's the default. But if you wanted to zazz it up a bit and give some sp different special effects, you could actually do that. So let me rewind it and show you a different effect. And here is that different effect that you can use. So you can play with those for title screens. So I always use Movie Maker to add a title to my video. You can also use Movie Maker to edit your video. So when I look at this video, I want to edit a piece out. Open to page 434. So starting at this point, I want to take out the stuff that's at the end of the video. So how can I do that real easily? I can go to Video Tools. When I click on the Edit button, notice that I can fade in, fade out, adjust the volume level. But what I'm going to do is I want to get from this point out gone. So all I need to do is hit split. Notice how it split my video in half. Now I can easily select the second video and hit that delete key. So I've now cut the end of my video. So I'm ready to add another video. Back to my home ribbon and I'm going to click add video and I'm going to take my next video and notice that it automatically adds it to the end. Now with this second video, I want to trim the beginning of this Today, video. I want to take out newsletter. this piece of information. At this point, that word is open. The first thing we're going so to do So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again split where I want this to end. So I'm positioning my cursor where I want to split it, go into my edit, I'm going to split one more time, and now I'm going to delete. See how I have this little box? It's highlighted with blue. It's now gone. So when I listen to my first video... First thing you want to do is make sure that your book is open to page 434. And now I can see, am I starting the it in the right spot? The first thing you're going spot? to do with newsletters is you always want to make sure that your margins are half an inch on every side. To do that quickly, let's go to page layout. Now, if I find that I want to trim information, I want to take a piece out of the middle, I could use my split to split the one, split the other, and delete the piece, but I can also use a trim tool. A trim tool has a set start point and a set end point. So if I go down to this point over here and I decide I want to trim the rest of it out, all I have to do under video tools is hit set end point, 
when I click set endpoint, notice that's another way of cutting information out of your video. So I've used the split and I've used the set endpoint. I can also do a set start point. Other things that you can do in Movie Maker. You can add captions or comments. If you go into the home ribbon, we could add a caption. So let's say, for instance, I want to add a note to the students. Position your cursor where you want to add that special note. Maybe you want to clarify something that you've said with text. So you can click on the caption tool. Notice that the caption tool puts a text box right in the video. So you can type your special note. Now, you're going to say, where did it go? Well, it happens to be defaulting to white text. So it's simply a matter of changing your text color. To change your text color, highlight your text and simply go to the text color. That's the A in the font group. And then go ahead and choose the color that you want for your text. So you have your note here. This way, when you play your movie, you're going to notice that your caption you is going to display. Sure your margins are half an inch on every Here we side. go. Just take so a watch. Quickly, let's go to page layout, margins. And here is and my note. The narrow option. Now, for that caption, if you click on your caption, notice that you can adjust the duration of time. Is you can also change when it actually starts. So you can do that right in your adjust group under text tools and format. All right. So you have some basic tools available for your use. One last thing that you may want to do to your video, because we've already seen how we can split, we've already seen how you could add an end time or a start time, but you may want to add credits. So if you have any credits or maybe a last assignment, which I have used this for, something like an enrichment assignment, you can go to your home ribbon and add credits. By adding credits, yes, it gives you these different options. I just usually put credits. And then here, you can type in the text that you want to see. So it, maybe it's a homework assignment. Um, be sure to proofread your document for typos. Your next assignment will be the birthday newsletter. Go to the blog for more details. Now, again, you can edit all of your text. So if I want to change up my color, I can. If I want to make this a little bit bigger so it's easily read, I can. If I want to increase the amount of time with which this appears, I can. Now, notice that when I go to play my text, it automatically scrolls up in a credit type fashion. If I don't want that, I can stop, it's selected, and I can change my text effects. So here by default, see how it scrolls up? Maybe I might want to have it come to the side. So that's kind of cool. Or I might just want it to stay right where I have it and let it be there for more seconds. I can certainly do that as well. So I, this will be visible for 10 seconds. Well, for some people, I'm going to need 20. All right. So when I play the video, it is just finished up. And page. so what I want to do is actually play. do my rule and play. So now it's just there. But you can use whatever effects you want and what text you want. So Movie Maker, you can add a title screen. You can add captions. You can add text at the end of your video as well. If you wanted to add music, you certainly can. I do not do that because I'm talking throughout my DIY lesson. The last thing I do is I want to publish this. So I recommend 
that when you publish, I always like to have it available in the share folder. I like to put it up on YouTube, and I also like to burn it to a CD, a DVD. So this way, my students who are at home could watch the video at home. How do I do that? I simply go up to the corner where it says File, and I go to say Save Movie. I like to use Save Movie, and I burn it to a DVD. Now, when I burn it to a DVD, it's going to make this into a Windows Media file. That is good for uploading to YouTube. That is good for placing in the share folder. It will automatically launch your Windows Media Player, which is on all computers. I found that when I say I want to save the movie for high definition, it puts it into QuickTime, and the kids don't like that as much. So I just click Burn DVD. Now, Burn DVD means it's also going to launch the automatic DVD software that is on the computer. This way, you can choose a style, and it's a very easy process. So I'm going to give this a name, and I'm going to save this right to the location in the share folder. I just find it saves a step. So this is newsletter, and I'm going to go into my share folder, and in 127 Katsakos, you're going to notice I have word processing basic formats, and these are all of the other videos that I have created. So when I hit save, it simply saves the movie. All right. We'll just give this short movie a second. So the movie finished, and notice that it opens up Windows DVD Maker. Now, with Windows DVD Maker, I always like to change the title, and uh, I'll call it create newsletter and then I'm going to hit next with Windows DVD you get to choose any of these simple styles such as cycle color or full screen you can even do a little bandwidth thing and then once you've chosen your styles yep there's a whole bunch to choose from all you need to do is hit burn when you burn, you simply insert a disk, and it's going to record. Then you're done. You will have a DVD. Don't forget to label it. You will have it already saved in your share folder. And then I take it from the share folder and upload it to YouTube. Hope you liked it.